Good morning everybody. So it's been a little while since I updated you as to what I'm getting up to. Um, car's all uh, with Neil Buckley. Uh, it's ready to go for Brands Hatch stages, which would of course be on the 20th of January this month. So looking forward to getting out on that with uh, Dylan Thomas co-driving me. And I've also, um, well I haven't, but Jack Morris, very kindly, on my behalf, has placed an entry on the East Riding stages, which is on February the 25th. So we'll have a go at that as well. But um, so at the moment, not a lot happening until Brown's Hatch, but I will be going to Brooklyn's tomorrow to uh, collect my second place overall award for the ACSMC Tarmac Rally Championship, which is rather, rather fun. So uh, you get some entry to the, uh, to the museum and everything like that. So it sounds like it's gonna be a nice day out. So I'll be on an early boat tomorrow and I will give you some uh, video footage of what I get up to when I'm there. So here I am on a bright and sunny day, I've made up to Brooklyn's and uh, gonna have a look around the museum now. Decided to come up in the old Jag today, 4.2 supercharged Jag, lovely old motor. Uh, cruised up here in good time and um, yeah, I've like had a cup of tea, coffee, bacon sandwich, pan au chocolat, taking it a little bit slowly getting up here. And now uh, I'm just gonna go and check the museum out and see if I can meet up with anyone I know. So just getting myself sorted to go off to Brands tomorrow and um, as far as I know everything's cool with the car so uh, I just literally got to go and get the 10.30 boat tomorrow Friday, get myself up there and uh, meet up with the guys and um, prepare myself to do the event the following day. Lovely sunny day out there today. Let's go kind have of a quick look. Oh yes, well if it could be like this tomorrow, that would be lovely. hatch a little bit early we're just waiting to go in they're not opening the gates till two o'clock and i'm about a quarter of an hour early but uh yeah bright and sunny easy trip up not much traffic very very straightforward so i'll be hooking up with uh neil buckley and the boys and uh anyone else that's kicking around up here presently so looking forward to uh yeah the start of the weekend should be good <laughs>
keeping the lights on. Stop him getting nicked. <laughs> Well, good morning everybody from Brands Hatch and I have to say um, there's a hive of activity going on outside and um, I'm still in bed <laughs> so it's quite nice really I can actually uh, see what they're up to from the comfort of my bed and it's looking pretty good isn't it eh? well better go out and see if there's any frost about right let's go outside and see what's going on Here's the co-driver, look. Morning. Morning. How's it going, mate? All right. Hello. Gonna get your belt sorted out. Yeah. That's looking pretty frosty, Dylan. Yeah. The sun's coming out. Pretty icy out there as well this morning. Um, not sure we've ever seen it quite that icy. Um, but a few things to remind you of before we get started. Well, that's stage one done, and my dear fellow Wayne's Hello. here. All right. How'd you get on? You're all right, mate. Yeah, slippery. Yeah. Slippery. Bloody slippery. Oh, Always good, is good. slippery. Uh, more more ice out there than I've seen before. Yeah, no. It was all right. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, you're not here though in your car. No, just spectating this yeah, weekend. That's all right. Well, I know. It's always away though. When you come, you wish you were doing it, don't you? Yeah, I know. Yeah. Right. I think why is the car at home? Right. Okay. Yeah, it'd be all right, wouldn't it? Yeah. So yeah, so stage one's done. So that's the first hurdle. So we've just come back in off of stage four, and uh, after stage three, everything was going very well. In fact, stage three was very, very good, and um, I thought, oh gosh, I'm a really good driver, aren't I? Because yeah, it all clicked really nicely, and then um, went out on stage four and um, made a complete mess of it. Uh, spun really, uh, you know, all the way around at Druids, uh, and then had to, re you know, restart the car. Uh, made sure I was very careful getting into reverse gear because I didn't want to damage the box like I did at Bovington. Um, and then we got back on the back on the stage again. And then uh, somewhere or other, I made a complete pig zero. I suppose I was just a bit flustered, got in my head. Not long after on the hairpin, and um, managed to just get, uh, didn't stall this time, but just got completely uh, knotted up. And uh, had, to, had to get into reverse, and oh my god, anyway. So a complete and utter mess. Uh, so we dropped from 7th to 10th now, so we dropped about 30 seconds at least. And uh, yeah, so we just have to forget all about that and um, try and make a, make a decent fist of the next four stages so we're halfway through the day um, but that stage was definitely one to forget well I feel like slightly less of an idiot now because it transpires we had a um, suspension component on the front of the car which was uh, um, broken so we've uh, had that replaced and uh, I think that probably had quite a lot to do with our spin so it probably wasn't just bad driving and um, that's all fixed we've just been through stage five and that was a good stage we went well and we were reasonably on the pace so quite happy with that. We're just going down to stage six and then they're gonna turn the stages around to go the other way around the circuit again, starting in the rally school. And um, it's a question mark over whether the last stage is gonna be in the dark or not, um, because we seem to be getting through the day quite quickly. But we are on the start line at the moment with a bit of a delay. So uh, we'll just have to wait and see. And um, But anyway, so fingers crossed to get through the rest of the day. Dylan's been champ on the notes, well done Dylan. And um, yeah, we'll uh, check in later with a bit more progress. Hello again. Well, I'm back from Brown's Hatch, and um, I'm sorry I didn't update you uh, after, I think it was probably about stage four or whatever it was, stage six, I think, when I was in the car. But um, yeah, it all went up all right in the end, and uh, we finished sixth overall, which was, I was very pleased with that, especially after the slight balls ups on stage four. Um, so yeah, all in all, I'd say it was a pretty good result, and uh, can't complain, and the service from um, Neil Buckley and the boys was absolutely brilliant, as usual. Uh, the event was very nicely run and uh, I really enjoyed it, really enjoyed it. One of the things I took away from it was um, I uh, really got into using the handbrake without using the clutch uh, and, and using the power to sort of swing the car around. And that's something I've been hoping to work on. But uh, to be honest with you, I haven't done a rally where there's been a huge amount of requirement for getting on the handbrake. But at Brands, which the, with, with the, one of the hairpins particularly, it's absolutely essential. 
Uh, and you know, there's a few other places where you really kind of need to swing the car around if at all possible, uh, although you could drive it. But um, no, I had a really good fun playing with the car. And um, yeah, I was using quite a lot of the sort of the power oversteer, uh, just really because it's fun. Probably isn't the quickest way around the stage, but um, it was good because not only was it fun, but it also it really kind of gets you in tune with what the chassis is doing. So playing with the car, because I still feel like I'm learning it, even though I've done seven rallies in it now. Um, you know, I'm by no means have I mastered this car. Uh, there's an awful lot to it, and the chassis are so adjustable that there's much to learn and experience. And of course, I don't get any time between events to use the car, not only because it's in Scotland, but you know, there's very limited testing opportunities available. And frankly, for the money that you spend to go testing, frankly, you might as well just do a rally. So that's kind of where I'm at with that. So that's it for this video and I'll see you at the ease riding stages as usual. Thanks to the sponsors, Mr. Tire Motorsport, TG Motorsport, Archer Speed Shop. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you're enjoying the content. See you next time.